Shut up. <laughs> Don't look at the finder too much. Look at the camera. Look at right there. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. This is my friend Lauren. She's six one, and she's in lots of musicals. <laughs> She also likes makeup, and that's why she's doing this video with me. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I'm sitting down. Yeah. Okay, so basically for this video, we're going to be sharing with you guys our favorite drugstore makeup products. Can you just, like, try to act professional? <laughs> this is serious. Wait, so here's the first product. Kidding. Share with you guys these e.l.f. Pro brushes. These are honestly, like, amazing. I've got so many of them. I never own, like, more than two brushes from one company, but I love these. They range between like three and six dollars and you can get them at Target. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> By the way, I will have links to all these products down in the description. In all of my videos, I usually try to link all the products that I talk about. It's the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and it's like, <laughs> this is basically the best thing I've ever had. I had the Smashbox uh, Primer Water Whatever. I don't know what it's called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Primer Water. <laughs> but I got this one right Way after to, go. to replace it. And it, it works just as well. I don't see any difference in it. We gotta like whip it up at the same time. Wait, wait, you accidentally do it, you know? So for the third product, we're both gonna be using oh. it. <laughs> this foundation is literally the best foundation in the entire world. I told her about it, so I and was then, the one who first used it. I used it for a show that I was in. Was three like three hour long shows. She was and like to do. They on the whole time. It was great. No, but I really like it because it's got really nice coverage and it honestly, it's like the quality of like a Too Faced foundation or something. It's amazing. So for the next little product, I'm doing a lot of NYX, but whatever. Uh, this is just the eyeshadow base. Oh my gosh, mine's better. This is just the white one. It's not super opaque, so I put on concealer first and then I put it over, but it does make it last a long time and it doesn't crease. This is from e.l.f. It is a new favorite of mine. I just bought it and I really like it. I have been wanting to try this for a really long time and I always buy my products from Target, but for some reason they never carry this. This is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I was watching a review on this product and this girl told me to scrape the top layer of the highlighter off. And I was really nervous to do that because I was like, I'm going to ruin my highlighter. But I did that and now it is seriously amazing. I'm going to swatch it. Like, How was it? How do you see that? We're both wearing it today. so Yeah, she did it for me. Yeah. I didn't put very much on because I was trying to go for like a matte look today, but I couldn't help myself. This is just the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and I got the translucent kind. And then the Elf Perfect Finish HD Powder. I've used each of these, but I kind of like this one better for more natural because it's not as bright white. I use that powder like every single day for school. The, the Rimmel Stay Matte? Yeah. Yeah, me too. It's my it's Okay, so I have one more product. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. This is like my everyday bronzer and I've seriously used this for like years now and this is like the only one I've ever bought which is so surprising. But anyways, this is a really good knockoff for the Benefit, what's it called? Cool bronzer? Yeah. I've been wanting to get that one for a while but everybody says that this is like literally the same thing so I've never ended up purchasing that but this is really good, and if you're looking for a good bronzer, definitely buy this one. These two things are just the concealers that I use when I don't want to use foundation, so you can't even see it anymore, I wiped it off. But it's the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Corrector. It's the brightener one, and you just put it under your eyes. And it's so, so many good. YouTubers talk about that product, like, it's high quality. It. <laughs> so, oh, this is also Maybelline. Okay, sorry. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in fair, because I'm pale. And basically, it does just as much as foundation for me. So, yeah. they're great by both of them. Both of them are so good. So those are all the products that we are going to be sharing with you guys today. I have so many more drugstore products that I would like to talk about. So I might create a second one if you guys like this. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite drugstore product is because I'm always anxious to try new makeup. So sure she's the same way. Subscribe if you are new because I make videos every single Sunday and sometimes even more. But unfortunately, I'm not here all the time. This is like a one-time thing. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you, Lauren, for being in my video. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Okay, I was going to end this myself. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Do you want to shut it off? <gasps> <laughs> well, that. <laughs> no. Ew. Yes, it's your turn. Ow. <laughs> Wait, your hair. Wait. It's a new look I'm going for. <laughs> Cute. Glow. <laughs> Your friend is ah! going to be rude. Did you, know you hear that? Because I think I heard a snap. <laughs>